Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got two replays in the American Tier 8 Premium Tank Destroyer, the TS-5. Now this is the unskinned version of the Bone Shaker, which was part of the Hot Wheels season. And not many people have it, not many people play it, not many people will have seen the tank unskinned that's not a Bone Shaker. And not many people really played the Bone Shaker either because that tank was fugly. It really was a terrible looking tank and I actually think that was one of the ultimate tanks or one of the tanks you had to pay quite a lot of money for anyway in the Hot Wheels season so again not many of that people really picked it up and to be honest it's a pretty solid tank destroyer it is slow which means a lot of games can get away from it there is no getting away from that yeah yeah there's no getting away from that you know tank games will get away from you because you are slow the tank likes to be able to be up in people's faces, use the really nice gun, the good DPM, and the really solid armor that this tank destroyer has. This tank destroyer is really how the T28, the Tech Tree T28 should be. I really do hope that one day they'll actually bring across the PC's HD armor model of the T28, because that tank is very sad. Very, very sad for us. But the PC basically with their new arm model gave it a really solid armor and is the way that it should have been intended and this tank plays as the t28 wants to play but can't because the armor's tragic and that is that the weak spot on top is the cupola but it you know if you wiggle and you cover it and you use concealment and cover like dead wrecks and things like that it can make it hard to hit and pen and then other than that the lower plate is the other spot for the tanks to hit and again if you use wrecks and you use rocks and things to cover that lower plate the armor on this tank is absolutely solid and to be honest if you're a turretless td fan and one that's you know with a good gun and with good armor this tank destroyer might be for you i really enjoy it it's not even my kind of tank destroyer to be honest because i like big high alpha guns and this tank doesn't really have the high alpha guns it just has good dpm and solid armor although i do like solid armor so there is that too so in terms of a crew on the TS-5, I run Born Leader, Rapid Reload, Sixth Sense, Situational Awareness, Steady Aim, Trap Mechanic, Clutch Braking, Off-Road Driving, and Camouflage Expertise. Steady Aim to make my accuracy 10% better, Clutch Braking to make my track traverse better because it really needs to be. The Off-Road Driving to just help the ground resistances and help me get up to my top speed. And in terms of equipment, I run Rammer, Camo Net, and Optics. Now this game that you're seeing right here has gone pretty tragically for me and Swindle in the fact that we came over here to get a, brawl, a good brawl going and the brawl found us and our team was found wanting. They all went up north and it was like, oh god, this is most of their team. This is really bad. But here is, I mean, this is a good matchup, right, which is nice. But here you're seeing just how hardy this tank is. We are blocking so many shots. Watch the... Watch the the damage block counter just fly up. We're up to 2.3k, damage of 4k is blocked so far with a bit of assistance. The wheelie boy's got in behind, but he's getting smacked from behind. And I was thinking, yeah, okay, I need to probably just keep backing up right now because, yeah, this wheelie boy's going to struggle to pen me, but again, they're going to find out at some point that I'm really alone and I only have one tank backing me up and they're going to rush me. And that is exactly what's happening here. This T77 is coming. I try to track him. And unfortunately, it just doesn't take the tracks off. I have to turn to face him because he will kill me if he gets behind me. And my only hope is to kill him and try and get away. But unfortunately, we managed to shut down the T-77 with a bit of help from the people in the base. And we get shut down by the STG from behind. It was always going to happen, but we've made a valiant effort of that flank. Finished with the 5 kills, 3.8k damage, 2k assistance, 4.6k blocked. Ace tanker, the spawn. The cool header medal, sorry, the high caliber, 2.1k base XP, a really great game for the TS5 in a very, very short space of time. That game ended very, very quickly, and we managed to do quite a lot of damage in that time. So yeah, going back to the crew setup and the equipment setup, I run camo, that, in terms of the equipment, there's many different ways you could run it, to be perfectly honest. You could take the camo net off and run vents, and by doing that, You'd have the best DPM you can get, as well as the best view range you can get, and just the best all-round performance. 
Or you can run the camo net like I do, because this tank destroyer actually has really good camo for a heavily armoured tank destroyer. It's kind of like the, T the T95 has the same. It has really, really good camo. And actually you'll be surprised that if you spec camo, how many times you actually stay on spotted. And that's why I do it, because if I actually want to play it like a traditional tank destroyer, where I go to my TD spot, find bushes, and start firing away, maps like Malinovka, Prokhorovka, for example, you know, those big open maps where you can get to a TD spot and then find some bushes and start firing at people, you can stay unspotted so much, and it helps the TD a hell of a lot in situations where you can't really rely on the armor, or the maps are just a little bit too big, and you're going to struggle to get anywhere with the terrible mobility that this tank has at 25 kilometers an hour top speed. So I run the camo net for that. You could also run a traction system just to get yourself that little bit quicker, but quite frankly, the benefit that you want from the traction system is the track traverse buff, to be perfectly honest, because you go from 25 kilometers an hour to 27 kilometers an hour, and what's two kilometers an hour? You may as well just, you know, stick with the 25 and make everything else better or something else better in general. That's my thinking on it anyway. So... This replay, we are on this map, which is called dun, da, 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 Kasserine. Yeah, that's the one. We got there in the end, and we've currently done no damage so far. We've trundled for two minutes, and we've finally got to a spot where we can be able to, well, hopefully do some damage. I hope, I hope we can get some shots off. We're currently seeing some awkward shots at this Indian Panzer, but he's actually behind some rocks that we can't quite see him. There's a camp Panzer 50T over there. This is a tier 9 game. And then we notice something strange. This Panther 2 just drops out comes out the middle. Out of nowhere. And it's like... Okay. Sure. Hello, I'm a tier 5. Oh god, that's a 705 as well. Where, where have you all come from? This is an unusual push. Uh, and an IS. What? Okay, well, this is the situation for the TS5 right here. We've got some rocks to cover our lower plate. The place that can pen is the cupola. Like has just happened. And we're going to try and have some fun here. Because we can use our good DPM, our good gun, and start slapping shots out here. There's a 7.1 second reload. And a T28 prot. What is this push? Anyway. Yeah, the, the 7.1 second reload for 400 alpha at this tier is really good. And we're just starting to absolutely work these guys over. And I mean, in the blink of an eye, we're up to 2.7k damage. The t the 705 actually managed to get a shot into our lower plate there. And again, wiggling and bouncing up and down, we managed to block the shot from the T28 prot. I mean, these are tanks with penetration on guns that are the same as, you know, tier 9s and 10s generally. It is a tier 9 and a tier 8. T28 prot has 248 standard pen, although it's firing APCR, which is like nearly 300 pen. And this guy has the 250-odd pen as well on this gun. And fortunately, um, you know, we've bounced a decent amount, and we've managed to do pretty well against them. And right there, we've got one last shot into the lower plate of that 705, and the turkey tank in his old stone gold manages to shut down the 705. Still quite a few tanks left, though. It's 10-7, and I'm looking at this going, am I going to get anywhere to get more shots? Oh, maybe. Hello, Mr. Campy Panzer. I like you. Could you, do you want to attack me? Yes, please, bro. I like, I like it. I, it means I can get damage. And, oh, we auto aim the shot and bounce. He ended up penning us. And I'm looking at this going, please don't high roll. Please don't high roll. Okay, we high rolled and took him out. We'll take it. Unfortunately, we played quite badly there with the auto aim shot and ended up hitting his turret. Really, we should have just aimed properly. But it is what it is. We're up to 4.2k damage. I mean, that is one thing that I think the TS5 probably struggles with a little bit, and that is the gun depression, because I think it only has 5 degrees of gun depression, which, if you're on ridge lines and stuff, can be a little bit awkward. It would be quite nice if the tank had more like 7 or 8, you know, and that means that it'd be far easier to make, well, to use little ridge lines and make it harder to hit your cupola and your lower plate, right? It would be nicer for that, and it would probably help the tank a little bit more, but it is what it is. It's still a solid tank. It still does what it what it wants. And we're up to 4.5k damage, 176 assistance, another fairly quick game. If you manage to get into that brawl, this tank excels in that brawl. The gun is fairly derpy, so at range it's not that good, but, you know, it, it is what it is. And we finish that game with the victory. Top on the team, 3 kills, 4.5k damage, 
1700 blocked, the ace tank of the high caliber, 1944 base XP, a really great game for the TS5, it's honestly a very very solid turretless tank destroyer, if you kind of like those slower based tank destroyers that have pretty good DPM and pretty damn solid armor, this tank is probably the one for you. So as always everybody, thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time.